Hello and welcome. In this video we have a 2014 MacBook Pro with a faulty USB port. The plan is to replace the daughter board which has the USB on it and hopefully that will solve the problems. So we're going to start by removing the base. Now when we take these apart most of the screws have got a collar on them apart from the two at the front here that don't have a collar. So the front screws are actually slightly shorter. Go around. Remove them. And we'll pop that out of the way. Okay, so there we go. The board we're going to change is this one here. This has had a new battery in it recently, as you can see. So I'm going to um, realign you and just bring you in on this area. As we can see here, this is the board we're going to replace. It sits just here. We're going to start by disconnecting these couple of connectors here. We're going to move this out of the way and then remove the mounting screws. This connector here, I can just get my thumbnails underneath it. A little wiggle. And it'll unplug. I'm just going to put that out of the way. In fact, I'm going to unplug it from the other end. Like such. The next thing we're going to do is lift this little connector up here. And then we're going to move that back evenly and slowly. I'm just going to put a screwdriver against it so I've got something to get a little bit of force on. And we're just going to gently unplug that. Now looking at this, I believe the fan has got to come out to do this. As two of the fixing screws here, as we can see, are underneath the fan. So let's take these screws out for the fan. And what I'm doing, I'm just setting these to one side as they come out. So I'm keeping the pattern in which they're, they're mounted. We'll lift off the Wi-Fi connectors. Hang on a second, let me just move this. We're working here now and uh, I'm just going to put a little underneath the Wi-Fi connectors and just lift them out and then this wiring here will just lift up and just gently unplug from there and we move it out the way. Okay so that leaves us one remaining screw in the fan here. I'm going to remove and we're going to take the Wi-Fi card out just to give us easier access to the fan connector and I put the screw down out of the way with the Wi-Fi card so I know it belongs to the Wi-Fi card will allow us to remove the fan and just gently pull that connector back and there's the fan out. So when we look at this, there's a screw here that we've still got to remove. We've took that one out, we've took that one out, that one's still in place. So if we remove that one from down there, which is a black screw, the silver screw next to it holds the, um, the heat pipe in place. We're going to remove that one from there. And then that should allow this small board to come out. Now, obviously you can see this one has got a, a guide on it that will literally just unclip off there. Just 
plug that back in, tuck that back into place. Okay, when we look at the fan, if we look here on the cable, there's a white line. So we're going to push this back into here and we're looking for that white line to disappear out of sight. Fan back in place. I've got the screws in. Put the fan. I've got that one just off shot, have I? Okay, fair enough. And we'll put this connector back in. Now put the Wi Fi back in place. Along with the screw that came out of the Wi Fi. sort of clip these back in. We're going to hit this plug here and uh, just encourage it to go back in. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on the shroud here at the back and there we go. Just be gentle with it because it's not the sort of thing that you want to break because it might cause you problems. I just took, I just took these cables back into here and the final job is to plug the Wi-Fi connectors in. You have to line them up and then push them down. That's it. That's the Wi Fi back on. So I'm going to put that back in place there and put the back on the machine. And I'm going to turn it over. I'm not going to screw it back together yet. And um, this machine is password protected by its owner. I'm just going to reposition you. We know that the USB on the right didn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a high Sierra installer in there. I'm going to press and hold the option key and press the power. Now what I expect to happen is it to go into the picker mode and when we look at the picker now we can see we've got the option to install High Sierra. If I take the stick out the option goes away. I'll put the stick in the other side and there it goes. So both the USBs are working on this machine. Turn it back over and we'll put the screws back in. We'll start with the two side screws, put a couple of long ones in there. The short screws go, I can never remember the front. I'll try and show you the difference in the screws in a moment. Don't know if you're able to see that. I'm just going to put these on their sides. Okay, these are the two screws. As you can see, that one's got a small shank on it there, and that one hasn't. The, one, the two short ones here, without the shank, go at the front. All the rest of them are the same.
Okay, and there we go. That's it. One full set of screws in there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned something. Please watch some of the other videos I've got as they can be quite interesting. Thank you.